I watch movies a lot. That's the reason I make this kind of videos. And when I find a good movie or an anime that is really good, I just want to tie people up on chairs and force them to watch it. I want more people having as much fun as I did. And so I watched Super Mario. It's not one of them movies that I would recommend. I mean, it's not a terrible movie. There's a lot of fun stuff in there for children to enjoy and a lot of easter eggs that adult audience will enjoy. But story-wise, I don't know what is it about. Is it a family movie? Is it a hero origin movie? Is it about oppression? The story is all over the place. Despite that, I am actually looking forward to a sequel regardless of my opinion of the movie is. So in that case, instead of pointing out all negative things about Super Mario, I will just talk about the movie I love. SpongeBob SquarePants Movie 2004 with an emphasis on 2004. We all know SpongeBob, we grew up with SpongeBob. So if you're looking for a nostalgia hit, then SpongeBob will hit you as much as Super Mario did. There are a lot of premises and storylines that is similar between the two movies as they are both on a quest to save someone and prevent Earth from being ruled over by tyrants. I know, I know, this is a hero movie cliche and this plot is just so overdone. Actually this is the exact same plot as the next two movies of Spongebob. But I'm telling you, Spongebob is not a superhero movie. Spongebob movie is a anti-coming of age movie. Coming of age movies are centered around the growth and personal development of the characters. We follow a protagonist as they enter adulthood and upgrow their teenage immature tendencies. But Spongebob slaps you in the face and says fuck that. It's okay to be a child forever. Go be Peter Pan for all I care. And by the end of the movie, go be embracing your inner child and say The music in this video rock. This song is such an earworm. For me, it is just behind the level of Let It Go from Frozen and we don't talk about Bruno. In Encanto. The animation is timeless. While watching it again, I can't believe that it was almost two decades ago when it first came out. Can you believe that? Two decades ago and some parts of this movie humor is still funny today. Some of the characters in the movie might not have been well developed but Man, oh man, Patrick was the best in this movie. Won't you just love to have a friend who will go to the ends of the world just to help you get a promotion? The bonds that we witnessed between this duo was so fun that I got blindsided when the story climax came. It hit so hard, so get them hard. I didn't expect to cry so much just watching Spongebob movie. So yeah, if you're planning to watch Super Mario or haven't watched Super Mario yet but you're looking for some fun comedic movie that will be both fun for old and younger audience then I would really suggest you watching Spongebob Squarepants movie 2004. It is similar to the plot of Super Mario but in my opinion there's a lot of things that have been done better here in Spongebob Squarepants than in Super Mario so give it a try and then tell me what you think about it if you like Super Mario better or Spongebob movie okay
Thank you. Thank you for watching. Have a great day.